Good morning and welcome to this day devotion from Crown and Kirk in Edinburgh on Wednesday the 19th of August. Whether you're watching from your sofa around the corner in Cramond or perhaps slightly further afield, many thanks for stopping in and joining with us today. We begin with words from Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 16 which says this, Your words were found and I ate them and your words became to me a joy and the delight of my heart. For I am called by your name, O Lord God of hosts. So let's turn to our Lord God now in prayer. Let us pray. God of abundance, we pray that we may see the need of those around us, that we may see the hidden poverty and the hidden hunger and the hidden worry Open our eyes and our hearts now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We continue our journey through creation and we're now on day three and reading from verses 9 through to 13. As we journey through the creation story, we see how something that was lifeless and formless, full of chaos, is slowly being tamed and being given life. We read of a God who provides abundantly, who doesn't give just enough, but instead delights in growth and richness. He produced seed-bearing plants for the plan, so that there may be more than enough for every living creature. Sadly, though, food insecurity is a very real and present danger for so many people in the UK and indeed around the world. The Guardian reported last week on the situation in the UK and said that the coronavirus pandemic has had a catastrophic effect on nutritional health of the UK's poorest citizens, with as many as one in ten, one in ten, forced to use feed banks and vast numbers skipping meals and going hungry, according to the government's food safety watchdog. As incomes have been reduced or become even more unreliable, sadly many people are not tasting God's gifts of fruit and vegetables and abundance. As they cut back on their weekly shopping, as they face malnutrition, not in some far-fung distant place, but right here in our own back garden. Food insecurity is a growing concern as we not only face a recession, as we face COVID-19, but also as we face a warming planet due to climate change. We need to share the gifts of food that God has given not only us, but he has given to the whole world. So listen again to the word of God. And God said, let the water under the sky be gathered to one place and let let dry ground appear. And so it was. God called the dry ground land and the gathered waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the land produce vegetation seed-bearing plants and trees on the land that bear fruit with seeds in it, according to their various kinds. And so it was. The land produced vegetation, plant bearing seeds according to their kinds, and trees bearing fruit with seeds in it according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the third day. Thanks be to God. Let us close our eyes and turn to God in prayer. Let us pray. Lord God, we pray for all who are hungry today, whether they live thousands of miles away, in our local communities, next door, and for those of us who are hungry ourselves. We pray urgently for food prices around the world to stabilize and fall, 
so that more countries do not fall into extreme hunger. We come today and ask for wisdom for leaders and experts working to tackle hunger and that they would be willing and able to make progress in identifying ways to combat food security and help communities adapt to changing weather patterns. You made us to know what hunger is, but also to know the goodness of your provision. We pray for those who share this earth with us and for whom hunger is a crippling, life-threatening danger. We pray for those who have nothing and for those who have too little to eat. Help them and allow us to be part of that solution. Lord God, the scale of global poverty is beyond our understanding. So we ask that you may give bread to those who are hungry and a hunger for justice for those who have bread. Grant us the faith and persistence to sow seeds of righteousness that may take years or even generations to bear fruit. Hear us now in the silence as we pray for all who hunger today. We bring all our prayers spoken out loud and in the silence. In the name of Jesus Christ, who broke bread and said, This is my body, broken for you. Amen. Many thanks for joining me this morning. And may God bless you in abundance with peace, with love, and with joy, wherever you may go today. Bye-bye.